Hello, I'm Colin Ferguson, and welcome to your News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. COVID-19 has dominated everyone's lives, but Santa Clarita residents and small businesses are growing restless with each update. Here's Roland Spruill with the story. I do want to note that these are legally enforced. They are the daily briefings that keep everyone at the edge of their seats and many business owners pulling out their hair. The press conferences given by the L.A. County Department of Public Health for many Santa Clarita residents have become a daily dose of bad news, especially for local businesses. But Santa Clarita Mayor Cameron Smythe says help could be on the way. My thought was to look at the idea of creating our own health department. Santa Clarita is under the jurisdiction of the L.A. County Department of Public Health. Cities like Long Beach and Pasadena have their own health department and can make their own policies. Mayor Smythe thinks a regional health authority with the Antelope Valley could be a first step to saving local businesses and escaping the more restrictive L.A. County health orders. With the metrics that are set for Los Angeles County, it is very difficult to see a scenario how we will really ever get out of the purple range. Uh, when you're talking about less than seven positive tests per 100,000. And the opinions of locals seem to vary. I think it makes sense to keep us a part of the LA County. I mean, I think, especially with opening in Florida's and all that, I mean, it's kind of been proven that opening and giving people the option. Mayor Smythe says he has absolutely no illusions as to the potential cost of establishing a health department here in Santa Clarita or regionally. But he says it's important to safely open up the local economy. In Valencia, Roland Spruill for Canyons News. Halloween is normally the time for frights, but with the state acting against COVID-19, trick-or-treaters are just looking for a little normalcy this year. Here's my story on Halloween in Santa Clarita. Cascading through the concrete cul-de-sacs while costumed is a tradition kids and parents alike look forward to. In 2020, however, LA County has recommended against the activity due to the COVID-19 pandemic. On October 14th, Santa Clarita Mayor Cameron Smythe stated that residents are free to practice trick-or-treating. If you wish to trick-or-treat or trunk-or-treat trunk or in, in Santa Clarita uh, while the state is recommending against it, uh, it is allowable uh, within the city of Santa Clarita. The state has said that sheriffs will not cite anyone who decides to participate. Paul Hoover, a youth pastor at the Valencia Hills Community Church, feels the mayor is being aware of the situation, but is still taking precautions with his family. We're technically a part of LA County, but I've had a very different experience when it comes to how severely COVID has infected and affected us. We will probably visit a few homes on our block of neighbors we know and trust. We will wear our face masks and probably spray disinfect any candies that the kids receive. Santa Clarita resident and mother of two, Jenna Klein, is planning on the normal trick-or-treat routine with her family, more so for her kids, Brooks and Taylor. It's important for kids like developmentally to be interacting with other kids and learning that way, obviously, it's um, we want to be safe and we want to. I want to protect other people, but it should, at the end of the day, I think, be left up to the parents. Hoover and Klein both want some normalcy this Halloween in what has been anything but a normal year. I think it's important for the kids to see, to par participate in a normal activity. Anything that helps us bring a sense of normalcy and fun is a welcome breath in what has felt like a suffocating year. With Canyons News. I'm Colin Ferguson. Small businesses are more important than ever, and one Santa Clarita resident has used her time in quarantine to start one of her own. Sarah Hicks has the scoop. If you are looking to support a small business here in Santa Clarita, here is your chance. I talked with Grace Waldron to see what her business is all about and why she started it. But I've noticed a lot of people my age online starting businesses and I wanted to hop on this because, especially in quarantine, my boyfriend and I got a little bit bored and we wanted to do something to spark our creative sides. The process can be tedious, however. To create my kits, I first do a Pinterest search about what kind of vibe I am looking for and I create a Pinterest board just to find my inspiration for what kind of things I am looking for. After creating my Pinterest board, I look on the internet for free downloads and try to find what pictures fit the vibe I'm going for. I download them, I edit them, and I frame them into the size, the 4x6. Once that's done, she sends it to the printing company, Shutterfly. 
Her prices range from $30 to $40 depending on how many photos come in a kit and custom orders vary. Each kit comes in a pack of either 60, 75, 100, 125, or 150 photos. Her Instagram is at coolcatcollage and you can find her store on her Etsy page under the same name. With Canyons News, I'm Sarah Hicks. That's going to be all for this week's News Micro. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and stay tuned right here for more content. Thanks for watching and have a haunted Halloween season.